currently the issue with organ transplant is that organs must be transited from the donor to the recipient by land. And this is very difficult in high density cities where there's a lot of traffic. So traditionally, the resource sinks associated with uh, taking an organ from a donor side to the operating room involves charter flights, involves clinical team flying to the donor hospital to retrieve the organ and bring it back, which can be costly and is also very time consuming. What the drone project really achieved is an example of direct autonomous transportation of an organ delivery in an urban environment. So for the drone project, I was involved in facilitating the transit of the teams from location A to location B, as well as building um, and setting up some of the platforms that were used for the takeoff and landing. To make this happen in an urban environment, we had to look at the optimal visual line of sight. In working through this project, we were able to identify many different issues in flying in the urban space, including electromagnetic interference across streetcar tracks, for example, uh, as well as solar flares, wind tunneling effects from high-rise buildings, and operations and access to takeoff and landing areas. Activity permits were an issue as well, and we had to coordinate across multiple parties to enable access that way. So we were able to achieve the milestone flight in September 2021, which was the world's first organ drone transportation in an urban environment. And this happened around 2 a.m. Um, and I think everyone involved was ecstatic that it finally happened. What keeps me motivated is everybody's enthusiasm with the project and understanding that there's potential for the project to um, go further and that in itself is inspiring. In terms of next steps, we're looking at building direct air corridors between the airport to urban environments, allowing faster transportation of organs across longer distances. What we achieved at the hospital with the organ drone transportation laid the groundwork for future flights. But there are still um, many hurdles before this becomes widely implemented, keeping in mind that there are safety precautions that need to be put in place when you have drones flying overhead in um, city areas. So I think being in a research hospital and in this kind of environment allows it to really catalyze ideas and problem solving. You can very quickly test, fail, and iterate um, until it meets um, your requirements. I think the most exciting aspect of the project for me is to see that the work done now can completely transform the way that healthcare can be provided in the future.